What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King of Earth. And this week it is Mission Sahara Desert. Now if you're only just joining us, let us get you up to speed on everything. On November the 13th, we landed in Morocco with our big mean green Mercedes machine, Custard the Bus. Her name is Custard. Custard. We have thrown ourselves into Morocco. Oh, yeah. We've learned the culinary skills needed to get by here. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We've made some friends. He's gone. He's gone, right? Oh, apart from him. In fact, we've thrown ourselves into this country a little too much. No, I just stepped in poo. Oh. <laughs> but the borders have shut down for Christmas, which is absolutely fine by us. So stick around and make sure you subscribe as we make our way towards the Sahara Desert, a bucket list goal that we've always wanted to see. Wow! And follow us for live updates on our Instagram. Custard. We couldn't believe we were en route to see the famous Sahara Desert. As we made our way east, it was incredible to see the change of scenery, from ice-capped mountains to red barren lands with terracotta hills. But it was going to take around three days, so we had some stop-offs on the way. Always waiting for these two. Yeah. <laughs> we're both just so polite, we've both been sat in our vans for like an hour going, where are they? Doing? We thought you must have no, been like You try travelling with things. YouTubers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That I is true. Know. Where are we? We are. Yeah. I don't know how you spell, pronounce the first bit. Ayat Benahadu. Apparently, they filmed Gladiator here. They also filmed a scene from Game of Thrones. So, this is, um, this is like Mollywood. So, it's like the Moroccan Hollywood. Obviously because the borders have closed and nobody's allowed in, there's like no tourists here. We've got this whole place to ourselves, which I kind of like, but I kind of don't. Because I feel like in the height of summer, this place would just be jumping, you know, there'd be loads of people here. It would be such a good vibe. I'm not gonna lie, Morocco, but I'm a little bit disappointed. We've been here for maybe like a month now, and I haven't seen a camel. Not one single camel have I seen to snog. Look at this. It's all just mud. Like, I know it doesn't rain that much here, but I felt like if it rained, this whole village would just melt. <laughs> I'm shattered, Craig. Tell me if it's any good up there and I'll come. Yeah, oh, I've got to go. If I knew we were hiking, I'd have put proper shoes on. Oh, look at that. Absolutely amazing. Mohammed's going to take us in through his house. So this is where like Gladiator was filmed. He's very excited to show us. Like I would be too if it was filmed in my house. Okay, Mohammed, you shout action. Yeah, one. Two, three, action! <laughs> oh. <laughs> one more, decoration! It's just oh. as I break it! Don't bloody break it off! Calm two, down, two, Chloe! Three. No, one, two, so three! Three. Calm down. These out in the middle! Calm down! Uh, yeah! Good! Very good! No more! No more! Decoration! Okay! Oh, it's beautiful! Thank Don't. you, Mohammed! Mohammed's house is gangster! He's showing us about, and he's like, I designed this, yeah. these are my paintings, this is my living room. He's got a cinema, mate. A six-month movie. Amazing. After Mohammed showed us some more film set memorabilia, we sat on his terrace for a little cup of tea. For whiskey berber, we're going to join him for some whiskeys. Whiskey berber means tea. They just call it their whiskey. Hell of a spot. Go on, Mohammed, with your gaff. Ah, uh -huh. one more. Come, come on. Terrace, <laughs> what Okay, in a good katpa. Beautiful. Maximus! 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 
Chill. Show us your skills, Mohammed. Oh, good. Yeah, it's good. Very sweet. <laughs> Don't they say the higher you pour it, the more welcome Hot. you are? Hot. You need Hot. something. Hot. Hang on, hang on. What have you got? What have we used? You burn awesome. yourself. Use the scrunchie. Fabulous. Yes. Très bien, Maximus. Oh, Fatima. Thank you very much. Oh, it's lovely and warm now. Alibaba. Alibaba. <laughs> Fatima Kushkush. Oh, thank you very much. Mohammed Tajin. Mohammed Tajin. Aisha. Aisha? Aisha. What's that? Aisha, good Fatima. Good, good Fatima. Fatima, good smile. <laughs> Saha. 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 We filled up on tea. Now we're going to Rashid's restaurant. 20 years. He owns the Gladiator Cafe and he's going to whip us up a tagine. And he used to be a chef in Casablanca, so we've got high expectations. We're expecting quite a lot, mate. Um, he also said we can sleep over, which I'm buzzing about. Um, but I'm not sure what the um, what the sleeping arrangements might be, so um, maybe we'll just ask him to stay if he wants to stay in custard then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it might be more Plenty comfortable. Room. <laughs> He's going to have heating though, babe. We haven't got heating. We're staying at Rashid's house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just so lovely around here though. They're just like making you tea and they just want to chat. But yeah, we bought some artwork from uh, Mohammed, Original piece. And then you got a little bracelet. Oh. Look at this. This is a Moroccan arm right now. I've got them from all different places. But that the one that I bought from Mohammed, it's a little bit of a different colour when you get outside. It doesn't quite match. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Vintage piece, Craig. Everybody's class around here. The the Berber hospitality is on point. There you go, lads. Gladiator restaurant. Drinks on arrival. Help yourself, <laughs> lads. As well, I've just put my jumper on. <laughs> so it's freezing. Just uh, take a look at that view there. Absolutely incredible. It just looks like a mirage. It doesn't look real. It's, it's like something like you would probably build for a set, mm. but it was here anyway. Yeah. Incredible. So no wonder they used it for Game of Thrones. Yeah. And the Gladiator is so epic. So epic. It's actually raining, so let's go inside. Are you flirting oh, with me? <laughs> um, so if you'd like to join me in the kitchen, I'm just preparing a, an appetizer with Rashid. Got our spoons, got our plates. And I think we're having this. Oh yeah, nice. What yeah. Um, I'm saying white beans, but I don't really know. Okay. So, R R R Rashid, I put these on here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Um. All of it. Okay. <laughs> We're doing all of it. Red, red Chloe one. and James about to be buzzing their tits off. <laughs> <laughs> it is Berber coffee, and I'm uh, guessing it's really uh, strong. Uh, uh, please wait. Oh, please wait. It's got a surprise. She's calling me chef now, I love her. You need me? Yeah. You can wash in your hand. Okay, thank you. I was a bit scared actually <laughs> when it coming out of the kettle. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Cheers, babes. You're welcome. We've had to come. All right, we're just finishing uh, Rashid's little gaff. Hey, bless him, he was super friendly. Thank you so much for hosting us, Rashid. Um, but halfway through us eating our meal, he was saying, oh, it's just a little bit of chicken in this. <laughs> so I don't know whether he forgot or what, but we basically almost finished the dish. And then he told us that, yeah, there was, it was just sprinkled with a little bit of chicken. He said, don't worry, I'm a doctor, you'll be fine. And we were like, we don't eat meat. So, um, yeah, we've decided to head back to the vans. It started raining now. And we're gonna cook cook a meal without chicken in it. <laughs> but it's so super friendly. He made us like he made the guys a really nice coffee and made us tea and stuff. But yeah, the hospitality here is just it is it's, it's great. Just lovely people. Just shame about the uh, the meat meal that we didn't want. <laughs> Before we carry on with the video, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Athletic Greens. This is AG1 by Athletic Greens. No, it is not the Incredible Hulk's blood, but it will make you feel just as powerful. AG1 has 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one convenient daily serving. One scoop or travel pack, eight ounces of water every day, that's it. 
AG1 supports your energy, focus, gut health and digestion, and your immune system, without the need to take multiple products or pills. It's not just for athletes, it's for busy mums. Jane, I'm just so tired all the time, I've got no energy. I'll call you back. What's this? Plumbers and anyone in between. Yeah, love, your pipes are blocked. If you could literally take one supplement for the rest of your life that gave you all the vitamins and minerals that you needed, AG1 would be it. It's so convenient and I just feel healthier. Like if you follow our channel, you probably know that I'm a pretty keen napper. But since taking this stuff, I haven't really found myself napping at all. I just love the energy that it gives me in the morning and that usually lasts throughout the day. It's fabulous. Lads, take ownership of your health. New year, new you, hon. Make sure your new year's resolution is to take care of your body. So go to the link in our description now to receive a whole year's worth of vitamin D and also five free travel packs with your first purchase. Do it for yourself, love. Morning, team. So yesterday, the weather took a turn for the worst. So we just came back to the vans. I cooked everyone a curry and we just chilled out. But today the sun's back out again. So we're heading up to the Khaleesi, what's it called? Terrace? Yeah, like a cafe. Yeah. We're gonna have some tea this morning. It's really cold. Obviously, custard tita is still broken. So um, I can't feel my toes and the tips of my fingers right now. So I'm hoping that when we get up there, the sun will be shining on us. We'll have some lovely mint tea and just warm our little bodies up a yeah, little bit. Warm our bones. <laughs> but it's crazy how amazing it looks in the sun now, because yesterday yeah. it was like kind of overcast. But you can really see like the, the reds of the, the buildings and stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a beautiful place. So we've been joined by these late stragglers this morning. Slept in till about one o'clock, didn't they? So you get up, did you guys? Or what? <laughs> Can't really beat these views though. Yeah, another crazy morning. Look at that. And there's literally, we're the only tourists here. <laughs> Amy's made a new friend. Is it chicken nuggets? I, I do think he belongs to the owner of this cafe, but he's mine now. He's so cute. I think he, he do you want to stay? He said he wants to stay with me. She? She wants to stay. She's so crazy. Look at her little tail. And I it? think she'll be absolutely fine in Custard the Bus. So, um, sorry, Mr. Owner, taking your cat. Our little stopover in Ben Hadou has been real, lads. The cafe owner Mustafa was kind enough to draw us a map, pinpointing some more stops before we hit the desert. We took him up on it and headed for his first recommendation. Thank Have you, a nice Mustafa. time. See you. Nice See you and travel away, uh, well and yeah. come back one day to the morrow. We'll See you one day. Thank, Thank you very much. Nice Bye. Oh, look how the missus is going shopping. I can't help it. They know what to do. They're like, come in, just look in. I'm like, okay, I'll have a look. <laughs> I like that black t-shirt though. Come on. We've met a dog and we've named him and we're trying to get him back to the van to feed him. This is a, just a disaster waiting to happen. We've called him Little Runner. Shopping banisters at it again. Stand outside, will you? So we are with, what's your name? Abdallah. Abdallah. Abdallah, nice to meet you. He's got a great carpet shop yes. and he's, he's showing us around. You're welcome. So if you come to this place, Abdallah will sort you out. Uh, so we started one dog and we've ended with another. So this is Turkey. This is Turkey. We, we lost Little Runner somewhere. We did, but he is very happy for some food. That's it, don't be fussy now, get it in you. We were making our way to a place called Tingia, but we've been driving for about three hours and the sun's about to set. So we found this park up right on the side of the road. So we're gonna stop here for the night and hopefully we don't get moved on. Do you have a moment to talk about Jesus? <laughs> uh, we're trying to get to a gorge and we've got no internet. So hopefully we get there. Oh. Oh, are you joking? Everything's locked down. 
My drive, let's go. All packed up and ready for a new adventure, we remembered we needed gigabytes. That's legit how they say it here in Morocco. We have um, uh, gigabytes. Internet? Uh, internet. Okay. All right. All the shows. Um, I'm just going to show you because, again, I know you're all nosy like me, but this is just like a, a corner shop on the side of the road. This is the, t the type of stuff that they're selling. You know, tinned fish, sauce, ketchup, vinegar, super noodles, jam, Nutella. You know, things like that. Also, I've been looking for this like baloney stuff just to give to the dogs. Like whenever we pass stray dogs, we'll get a few of them. We just bought some, uh, some noodles. These are like the best noodles you could ever have. They're like quite spicy, they're lovely. And he had a big bit of this. This looks incredible. Tea, what? And tea's ready. So we've only just stopped on the side of the road in like a random town to get some internet so we know where we're going. Um, just got chatting to the guy. He doesn't speak English. We don't speak Arabic or French. And yeah, we're just going to have some tea now. He's just invited us for tea. Definitely, like, it's just so lovely that people are just wonderful. Oh, nice. Let's just go into a corner shop back home and having a cup of tea with you. Haven't I know. Oh my God. There's like 15 grams of sugar in that. I can feel my teeth loosening already. Wow. <laughs> so we're just swapping WhatsApp numbers now because we took a picture with the tea and we're going to send it over. This bread though. Oh, baby. How much is this? Three dirham. Look at the size of it. It's like a hammer. We might catch a cold off it, but. He did cough on it a little bit, but don't worry about it. <laughs> Good for the immune system. I really got a meltdown. So that just came up with the bread. I literally thought my tooth had fallen out. I was like, oh my God, what one is it? Please don't be a front one. It's a bit of coal, is it? It's a rock. It must be what they cook the bread on. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, good times. So part of the fun, isn't it? It is, but be careful. Watch your pearly whites. Bread bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I read somewhere that this drive out in the desert is one of the most exceptional drives in Morocco. And it is insane. They call this the road of a thousand caspars. So all the, the buildings just look so amazing. The colors are insane. And then it's just got a backdrop of snowy mountains and then like red, red stone mountains as well. It's so amazing. Probably one of the most colourful, majestic drives I've ever done, man. Look at those mountains. They just look... It's just bizarre, isn't it? Everything's really round and smooth. Just fascinating to see it. It's so good. One of the most epic drives ever to get up here. And hopefully it's going to be one of the most epic tea spots we're going to find. They just keep getting better and better. So this place is called Cafe Timzilit. Check it out. Do we know anyone? I don't know if I can see anybody that I know yet, but if you know anybody, let us know down below. What looks familiar? Holy moly. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is incredible! So this is the, the Dadis Gorge. There's not that much water right now, but this river stretches all the way to the Sahara Desert, which is like 350 kilometers. Excuse me, can I just use the camera? It's amazing. I mean, we've driven some amazing roads, haven't we? The one that always sticks in my head is in Romania, the Transfigarison Road, that just does that all the way down. But this is so different because of the rock and the color. That's amazing. Look at that little face. Mm, you called her Cheryl. You called her Cheryl? Cheryl. Cheryl. King in it was here. See if you get here, take a photo with that sticker and tag us on your story. What a day! What a day, lads! What a drive, Craig. Elva. Elva day. Right then. 
to a campsite, is it? Yeah, um, absolutely starving, absolutely stinking. So we could do with a wash. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to make tonight because we don't really have any food in the van. I've given it to all the stray dogs that we found. So now we've got uh, nothing. I'll make something, don't worry. Team meeting to decide where we're going to sleep. Yeah. So it's an hour and 38 minutes and we've got about two hours of sunlight. So it's probably going to take about two hours. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, James, do James it. said we could do it, so we can definitely do it. If we don't, then it's James's fault. It's James's <laughs> fault. Bye, Cheryl. We love you. Big drive, that wasn't it? Just yeah, just a lot of driving today. It's class, though. Just. Probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever driven in, yeah. Morocco. I feel like we tend to say that every country we go to, we're like, oh, it's the most beautiful place we've been. But it's different kind of beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, the colors are just so warm and it's just, there's so many, it's so diverse. Uh, it's great, man. The guy said that the showers are um, fired by wood and he said, oh. you have to shower tonight because tomorrow morning it might not be that warm. Oh no. I, the only reason I don't want to shower tonight is because I'll have to go to bed with wet hair and then when I wake up there'll be icicles on it because someone... But if you got a hair dryer, just dry your hair. ...still hasn't fixed the water, the, the diesel heater. You better get under there then babes, get it done. And what was your name? Brahim. Brahim. Nice Hello. to meet you. And the uh, name of your campsite? It's Camping Lulac. We call it, uh, the people call it Garden of Eden. Chloe and James have gone ahead of us and they're in Mazuga and they've said there's no bananas, the shops aren't great and there's no ATMs so we need water, bananas and money. But they did say it was it was warmer so please, please, I just want one full night's sleep without my knees being freezing. Excuse me Mr Driverman, how long do we have? Uh, about three hours. Oh. So how many does that equate to in custard hours? Probably four and a half. What? I have no idea, but it doesn't smell good. So that's where that is, way below the minimum. That might be why it smells a little bit. Oh, I'm just being passed up by there. Don't worry about that, lads. Cheers, Trev. I'm happy with just putting the water in there and giving her a little kick. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, really. I mean, the air filter looks fine as well. Yeah. I just thought because it's so dusty, maybe that's blocked up. But yeah. Back on the road. To the Sahara Desert, please drive. To say that we were excited about going to the Sahara Desert was an understatement. Fun fact, it's as big as the USA. How mad is that? These last few days have been a huge drive, but traveling to the Sahara is a scenic treat. We could slowly see the landscape move from rocky brown hills to rippling orange sand dunes. No need for your head to be stuck in your phone on the road of a thousand caspars. It will entertain your eyes for literally days as you travel through. Alright, we've made it. <laughs> Did you miss us? Oh, I missed you so much. <laughs> Have you been all this time? I know. Custard's a little bit slow, isn't she? A little bit slow, yeah. Glad we got here in the, in the dark just so we could see what it looks like. Oh, I'm oh, so yeah. excited to so see nice it. To Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't wow. wait. If you, if you get up, right, caught, if you get out for a quarter to eight, you'll see the sunrise and it is. Oh, it's so not nice. never going to happen, James. It's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh bread delivery. Don't look at this shape. Of this I can't even begin. Look at this. <laughs> Fresh bread. Oh, how amazing is that? So I'm gonna take this back, this black screen down, but I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna keep keep the curtains shut, and then we're gonna open them. You ready? Three, two, one. Wow! Look! Can you see? And we've got a poochie just in there. Oh my goodness. You know you always picture the Sahara Desert sand, the colour, like, because you see it in all the pictures, but... 
The dune's gone for days. Custard's feet are in the Sahara Desert sand. The dog does look cold though, should we invite him in? Look at these three. Look at Uncle Craig. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. So team, that is it for this week's video. Hope you're having a lovely boxing day and stuff in your faces full of lush food. Yeah, we hope Santa brought you everything that you asked for and that you've had the best Christmas, wherever you've spent it. But yeah, if you've got any questions about this country, about Morocco in general, or like anything you want to ask, leave them in the comments down below and I'll either get back to them down there or I'll address it in next week's video because we just carry on with our days. We don't know if, if anybody wants to know more about the country or if you've got any burning questions. You don't know anything about Morocco, do you? find out, you know, I've got Google the map. I mean, the Sahara Desert is a bucket list tick off. Do you know what I mean? It's unbelievable. We've man. only seen a little section of it in our campsite, so I cannot wait to explore this. It's Craig Holmes' birthday next week, so we've got some adventures planned. We're behind with videos though, so 20th of December is yeah. my birthday. Send presents to the Sahara. Send presents, yeah, to Craig, won the Sahara Desert. Should get to us feeling very grateful, feeling very happy. Um, and while we were on our way here yesterday, I kind of wrote the outro to this video because I was feeling like I wanted to give you guys a piece of advice to take away. Let's hear it then, babes. <clears throat> Manage your growth yourself. Traveling will make you grow as a person. It gives you perspective and helps educate you. Always expect the unexpected and learn to see that as a wonderful opportunity rather than something that's stress inducing. Flip fear on its head and instead of saying, I love Craig and Amy, I love watching what they do, but I could never do that myself. I'm looking at you. You can 100% do this yourself. Believe in yourself and remember, always rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, I'm just so tired all the time. What is it? Oh, the kids. Yellow! What, what's it got like? Pipes. Are... I'm gonna draw a six pack on me. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on there? I'm flexing! <laughs>